Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. When we install ESX, there are some commands that come with ESX that we can run either from the service console via SSH or if we're actually at the console, so that the keyboard, monitor, and mouse, it's actually hooked up to the server. And there are times when we need to use these. One time is to make advanced configurations. Another time is if we can't even get to the service console over the network. Let's say we misconfigured an IP address or a gateway or something like that. Or if we're trying to set up some load balancing or teaming and something went wrong and we can't even get to the service console. Well, we're going to actually need to be on the console of the server and run some commands. Let me show you where these commands are at. I'm just going to open up PuTTY and I'm going to SSH to ESX02.ITDVDs.local and then I'm going to log in as root. Now if we were at the actual console of the server it would be the same thing. We just log in and I'm going to change directory to USR slash SBIN. Hit enter and I'll type in ls and there are actually quite a few commands here the ones we're concerned with generally start with an ESX but they can also start with a VM for example I'm just gonna clear the screen type in ESX hit tab twice and you can see these are all the commands that start with ESX you can see ESX CFG dash add-ons uh, auth boot uh, for example to run one I'm just gonna type in dot slash ESX CFG dash Nix. And this is actually a command that can show you or can modify the Nix that are in your ESX server. So I'm just going to do a minus L. This is actually going to list them out. You can see here I've got two Nix. It's not uh, formatted very well here, but you can see they are gigabit Nix. The duplex is set to full. MTU is set to 1500. And we can see this is PCI X. Interestingly enough, you can see both these links are up. One is negotiated to 100 megabits per second. So, you know, that might be a time where we see that something's wrong. But all these commands do different things, and it's just important to know where they are. We are going to be using some of them in the following videos. Another real important one is ESX CFG V switch. And generally, to run commands, you put a uh, dot slash in front of it if you're not familiar with Linux. Uh, and then I'm just going to do a minus L to list them out. Now, all of these commands have different switches and different options. This one just happens to list out your V switches. So you can see I've got a V switch 0. Uh, it's got 32 ports. I'm using up four of them. You can see the VLAN ID that's specified is zero. That just means no VLAN ID. And we're again, we're going to get into all of this, but it's just really good to know that these commands are in this particular folder and how to run them. Let me just clear it out here. Most of these commands also have man pages. Man pages are just the manual pages that tell us how to use a command. So we can type in man and then the name of the command, like ESX CFG dash. Nix. Hit enter. And this gives us a nice breakdown. I'm just using the down arrow. And lets us know exactly how we can use this particular command in all the different switches and options. I just hit Q to get out of it. And then maybe I'll type in my command.